number 19. We want the Lewis structure of the phosphorus tetrachloride compound. They've done the math for us where it says 32 valence electrons, so thank you. And it has P as a central atom, so P C L four plus Lewis. So as they said, phosphorus is a central atom, so we're gonna smack that there. And we have one, two, three, four. Okay? This is gonna be chlorine, 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 chlorine. And now we're gonna go ahead and fill in the electrons. So chlorine right now, each chlorine is sharing one of its seven. So it's gonna be two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's looking like a really good start so far. But phosphorus, on the other hand, is sharing four of its five. So we just have this lone unpaired electron. But funny enough, we have a plus. The plus means we get rid of an electron. What better electron to get rid of than the lone unpaired electron? So we're gonna get rid of that. So if you copied and pasted this, what we would actually have is this. Just like that, because that lone unpaired electron is now gone. And just as it says it has 32 electrons, we can actually go ahead and count and see if that's the case. So we have four bonds, so that's eight electrons, and then we have three times four lone pairs, that's 12. Three times four is 12, Oof, I did my math wrong. So that's 12 times two, that's 24 electrons, plus another eight, 32, perfect. And now to see this formal charge, to see where even these, this positive comes from. So the formal charge for every chlorine, if it wants to be zero, it usually has three lone pairs and one bond. That would be a zero formal charge for chlorine. For phosphorus, on the other hand, it's one lone pair and three bonds. So for it to go from this to now having four bonds, it has replaced a lone pair with a bond. When you replace a lone pair with a bond, you go into the more positive direction, which is why this phosphorus is where that positive charge is. So this right here is conveniently the Lewis structure for phosphorus tetrachloride ion. And there you have it. This is what we get. And nonetheless, this is correct. So now I'm going to question number 20.